Welcome and hello, my Sagittarius friends, to your clairvoyant alchemy reading for August 2016. Yes, we are ending up the second half, or we're going into it to end it up soon. It's going to just be gone like that. And uh, I'm encouraging all of us to really connect with Earth. You know, ground yourselves, get outside, and you're a fire energy sign, and you are a mutable sign, of my Sagittarius friends, and I adore your trump card, the temperance, number 14, major arcana, all about the alchemist within, working with the stars, working with earth, um, it, and it's come out a lot, a lot of spiritual uh, going on in August and I have to uh, add that we have a lot of power eclipse power moments coming through actually and um, let me I'm big, I have my little my little um, pocket astrology here but for we just opened up with the new moon in Leo I just dropped my August monthly reading and it came out superb in the respect a lot of positive vibes very good but now we have a lunar eclipse full moon in Aquarius on August 18th, okay? And then we have on September 1st a solar eclipse as a new moon in the sign of Virgo, okay, Virgo. And for August, happy birthday to all those Virgos as well as Leo. And then we have a lunar eclipse harvest moon in the sign of Pisces. Okay. Three eclipses. Solar, lunar, solar, lunar. In the next few weeks. Within the next, this month and next month. And as I'm aware of how uh, I perceive the eclipses. Is that um, they are very special portals. Okay. Very special special portals to receive wisdom from the cosmic realm. Very unique and, and powerful gifts can, can transcend to you. Okay. And the Maya, you know, they were astronomer, astronomers beyond. Okay. Uh, they too, like the Egyptians, came from the stars. You know what I'm saying? And the Mayan believed that the eclipses were to unveil a new birth, you know, a new beginning. So let us encourage that, accept the connection to our life and earth, okay, via the cosmic realm. Right now, all the readings have come through that it's about spiritual prowess, okay, spiritual prowess, spiritual faith, and ask for what you want, okay, you ask, because even the angels, they are there for us, but we have to ask of them. Okay, because they recognize, or as, as I understand it too, the angels recognize we have free will. We do, you know, kind of what we want. But when we want to tap spirit, when we want to tap the universal energies, okay, we need to align with the cosmic forces that be. Whatever that is to you, you know, whatever religion you're raised in or tradition, if you believe that there's a cosmic force that works with us, through us, then it's time. This, this, this is a huge portal coming through. New moon, full moons, all about eclipses. It, it's amazing. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. So why don't we tap it all? Okay. Make that connection. Accept the connection. Very powerful. Powerful gifts. Let's embrace them and take them. And enjoy them and heal this planet. Okay, let's heal this planet. I mean, that's pretty much what's been coming through to me uh, when I drop the monthly reading. You know, I I pray to the angels all the time. I pray to the higher beings that be. But pretty much it was recognizing that let's talk to the angels. Talk to the angels. So I have brought out the angel tarot deck as well. And the dragons I have here as a fire sign, Sagittarius, you are a mutable sign. And your sign is the third and final month within each season. The role for your sign 
or the mutable signs is to prepare for the transition to the next season. And your traits are communication, flexibility, and distraction. <laughs> okay, so Sagittarius, but you have that beautiful temperance card, the alchemist within. I love it. Okay, and so I've also brought out the life purpose because with the uh, monthly reading I just dropped a couple days ago, it was about knowing your soul purpose, knowing why you came on this planet at this time. And your birth date, we are all coded. We're all coded, and the birth date is a main fragment of that. But there's so much more to deliver with who you become, okay? And I just dropped the Aries fire sign, and it's like, the heroes are beginning to show up. Okay, so I hope you are a hero, fire sign, Sagittarius, for all of us. And then I brought out this um, the Soul's Journey lesson cards as well. Okay, by a James Von Prague. You may be familiar with him. He's a medium to the stars. Let me see. James Von Prague is the internationally renowned number one New York Times bestselling author who has worked as the voice of the spirit world for the past 30 years. He has appeared on Oprah, Larry King Live, Dr. Phil, Coast to Coast, and many other programs. He is also the successful creator and producer of CBS's long-running series, The Ghost Whisperer. That's, look at that. I, sh I wish I would have turned this around to see that. The Ghost Whisperer, because I, I, I couldn't remember what show he had done starring Jennifer Love Hewitt. And the website for him is vanprog.com. But beautiful. Okay. So, and he's brought... Uh, his deck has brought us wonderful wisdom as well. So I'll pick one card here, but we're going to do a six-card pull for everyone else, okay, uh, for this reading. And this is for you, Sagittarius, if you're born under the sign or a loved one or one of your children, you know, is it connected via the Sagittarius? But the alchemist within, that's what we want to do, okay? We want to embrace that we know you know, and the alchemist is usually an image of an angel pouring the cups, you know, doing the alchemy, okay? And alchemy is a wonderful thing. That's when you know you tap nature. You tap the water elements, the fire elements, earth, you know, earth, air, fire, water. You tap the moon. You, you tap this planet, okay? I mean, it's it's like you're you're working with everything. Positive. You know, so accept your connection to life, force, and earth, okay? All right, first card I'm pulling from the dragons. It's a six-card spread today, and uh, let me just take a moment. Uh, it does aid me to align with my breathing, so as the fire dragons do, let's do a strong exhale and solid. Bring your belly in tight, abdominal wall in, and then just a strong inhale. Buddha belly out, Buddha belly out. Hold it for at least 10 And uh, Buddha belly came back, uh, came through with the first reading with laughter. Okay, so laughter is the best medicine. So, you know, laughter is the best medicine. Laughter is an instant vacation. So I decided to bring him out for you all now, my saggy friends. Okay. And uh, it's, it's time to release what no longer serves us and really align with who you are. Okay, this card is really nice. All right. Let's do another deep breathing. Okay, so let's just exhale strong and solid. <sighs> Bring your abdominal wall in. And then inhale, inhale just as strong. And the Buddha belly out. Okay. 
exhale slowly. I got a little, and I have a little buggy in here. That's Florida for you. We got all kind of critters. All right. Well, thank you kindly for watching and all my new subscribers and that, you know, it's just, I'm feeling the love and the shine and I, I feel good in many ways. I've been waiting for this moment, actually. It's, and, you know, the thing about working with spirit, it takes time. You know, we, we can't push spirit. We can't control the invisible. But allow the invisible intelligence to work with you. And it'll be a win-win. And the main emphasis for the August reading was ask for what you want. Okay? Ask for what you want. Call on your angels. Call on the divine. Call on, you know, your ancestors, you know, your family that have passed into the light. Okay? They can bring us much wisdom. They're always around us. So, you know, we guard them with integrity and love. And love has come through on this uh, reading already with uh, the soul's journey. This deck, the love card came through already. Uh, so, let us continue on our mission and believe in yourselves. And I can, I have attested for the last other two readings. I know we can heal this planet collectively because many of you who write to me and watch me and even for the five years I've been on here, I have never met you physically, but soul to soul, I adore you. I adore thee. So, and if you adore me, then I adore thee. <laughs> and it's a win-win and we can heal this planet just like that. And then, you know that your guides and my guides are together and much power, okay? We, we can defeat these governments and we can heal the demons if we believe and construct ourselves and connect ourselves to the beauty of invisible spirit. Trust in the invisible, my darlings. Great spirit wants us to believe in that higher realm. Wow! The Knight of Coins. The coins have been for the fire family here on every pull. The Queen of Coins has come through. We just had another coin card come through for the Aries. And now you open Sagittarius with the Knight of Coins. And I like the Knight of Coins because that means, you know, that's that young blood. And I kind of like that. Yes, I do. Wow. Uh, you know, it's the young blood. They know that things are going on and we're going to make it happen. Okay. So let's make it happen. All right. Let's make it happen. How about that? And he's got his beautiful white stallion there. So there's power in the horse. Native American wisdom, the power of the horse means a lot, okay? And it's like, you know, how he's standing there. He's like in perfect form. You know, he's holding his pentacle, his disc, the resources. He knows he's going to continue on his mission commanding many things, okay? And it's all about standing and grounding on earth because the coins is all about that. Standing and grounding on earth, mother earth. And we've been we've been saying that for the last few readings because the coin card, the pentacle, the discs, resources card has come through for every single one of you now. The fire signs, um, you know, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Now you open up with the night. Young blood, we like that because now you can have the energy to continue on your mission, whatever that may be for you. But they want it for you. So do not give up on you. Align with power. You can Google that in Native American wisdom. The horse is most definitely about power. Okay? So align well. Beautiful. Stand strong. I mean, this these last few readings, I'm standing all the cards strong. I'm not even laying a card down. Because everything has been so uplifting 
invigorating. I have to say that August uh, monthly reading, if you haven't watched that yet, is one of the most invigorating readings I've done in a while. And it felt good, you know, me as the reader pulling the cards and trying to read what's it's feeling fabulous. So let's, with these eclipses, there's so much power to unveil and birthing, birthing yourself into that new connection to life. This life, life on earth, okay? Life on earth, earth. This is coins, pentacles, earth. Get grounded on Mother Earth. Walk barefoot, you know, when you can. On the beach, if you live by water, ocean, beach. Uh, if you live, you know, in the valleys, walk barefoot if you can. If you live by the mountains, you know, sit on a big boulder barefoot. Ground. Oh, my goddesses. Look what's come through. Major Arcana, the sun. How glorious. Joy, happiness. Power. Success. <gasps> Sagittarius, how gorgeous is this for you? And I want to say the sun came out for the monthly reading as well. But, you know, back to back, sometimes my mind kind of, I think I shut it down on purpose so I can't recall too many things, but it doesn't matter. It's here for you. Major Arcana. Yes, Leo, the sun. Maybe that's because Leo is ruled by the sun. Leo, fire sign, Leo, ruled by the sun. So we talked about the sun. And the sun is ruled only by the sun. Okay, no other no other power source but the sun rules the sun. And that is about life. That is about life. Without our sun star, we would not have crops. We we wouldn't even be here, none of us. It's about identifying yourself with life on this planet Earth via the sun star. This is uh, look at that another card to stand strong stand strong my sun star how gorgeous you are wow joy uh, you know allegra allegra alegria it's uh you know the sense of self the sense of spirit Authority, the will, will, like Leo's mantra is I will. And Sagittarius, your mantra is I perceive. So perceive that go outside and look up to our sun star. Be determined with vitality that, you know, recognition, power, and success is yours when you work with the sun. So please get outdoors. And look up to the sun star. We've been saying that now for over, you know, a couple of years too. Look up. Look up to the Luna. Look up to our sun. Without the sun, I'm not trying to repeat myself, but this is glorious. You're the third final fire sign. Fire, fire in the house. <laughs> fire power in the house. From the dragons. I adore the dragons. Wow. And you know, when you believe in you and you work with the, the natural, the elements, earth, air, fire, water, and moonlight, that's when you can put into effect uh, and, and you, you know, start praying, aligning, and connecting to the vibes that be, to the higher realm, to the spirit world, okay, the invisible spirit world, and you trust that you're going to disconnect from discontent, they will allow you now to create your glory, you know, and, and have to make the money, right? We have to make money to pay the bills. That's how this earth works. We can't have things without 
making money, resources, whatever that may be. But, you know, if you're a farmer, you plant resources, then that comes. If you plant, plant it beautifully. No more chemicals, my darlings. Organic. Okay, organic. Wow, I, I'm still like, how how much power is this? This this is the most powerful card in the tarot when it comes to metaphysically speaking and and then unveiling truths. The sun. I mean, no human, you know, no government created the sun. Okay, you can tell I'm like a dog in all the governments at this time. Because right now in the USA, the nonsense is <laughs> who's going to rule our USA now? <laughs> Egomaniacs. But I, I, I keep praying. I keep praying. I just said it in the last reading. You know, I'm approaching my 60th birthday. And I don't have 60 left. And I keep praying that the supernatural... It's going to come down and expose themselves, reveal their beauty, and that these governments are going to shut down from all this Illuminati crap, powerful bullshit that's been going on for many, many years. I hope the ETs come for them. <laughs> the chariot. An important achievement. Self-discipline and willpower, public recognition, second major arcana card, back to back. And this is a beautiful card, beautiful. Now this is the Cancer's uh, trump card, the water sign of Cancer, another beautiful sign ruled by Luna. So look up to our sun star, my darlings, okay? Look up to the sun star. You know, your trump card is just as beautiful, my Saggy friends. You have that angel working with the sun and the moon and the stars, and she's, you know, mixing the elixir. And look what's come through for you, Sagittarius. And, you know, you have giant Jupiter as your ruling planet. It's about that. And we just had the Wheel of Fortune come through. For our fire signs, about growth, expansion, luck, enthusiasm. Look, how enthusiastic is this? You have a fire dragon from the sun pouring its love to you. And now you have the chariot saying, stay determined. Don't give up on you. Okay? Be sensitive. You are protected. Look at that. And we can see, look look at these two orbs here. Well, we know that's the sun. But look at this. There's another orb here. You know, sun, moon. It's all here. And then, the, you know, if you want to say, look at this disc he's holding here. You know, that's what we want for you, my Sagittarius friends. Maintain an emotional equilibrium. Maintain inner harmony. Maintain your emotions through challenges. But you can still come out victoriously. And you've got the energy to do it. Okay? And then look at that. you got the sun power with you. This is extra extraordinary. This is like power, powerful. Beautiful. And look at, we have the horses here. Power symbol. Native American. I was just talking about that uh, with the Aries folk. Because there was a horse come through for them as well. And in Native American wisdom, the horse is power. So you have two powers. Seven. Spiritual number. Which can mean spiritual challenges or spiritual victory it depends on how you are balancing the righteousness of who you are 
Another card to stand up strong. August is August is coming through really that um, we all can uh, defeat the negative ones and align with the beautiful ones. How cool is that? Look at that. Third major arcana on a four card pull with a court card to begin with. That's brilliant. The Hermit, number nine, Archangel Raziel. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. And no doubt about it, that's what we have to do. Ask for what you want. And for the last two readings, I've been suggesting you, we must take half an hour a day, turn off technology, and you go into your, you know, meditation, or, if you, you know, you want to lie down and, take a nap but make sure you're asking spirit to come in your dream you know or your your moment of rest visually clairvoyantly or clairaudiently you're going to hear a word or a phrase that they speak to you okay and and if you want to just go for that half hour walking barefoot somewhere or or sitting on you know somewhere in your yard or Wherever, even if, if you live in the city and you just want to look out the window where the sun is shining, be barefoot, be in a yoga position, you know, comfortably sitting and, you know, you feel what you've, what, what they're going to bring you. It's all about our senses, my darlings, the alchemy of your senses, you know, with your eyes, with your ears, with your mind, with your heart, with your body. And so you sense it all, okay? How beautiful. Archangel Raziel. He wants you to go within. He's very powerful. He's Archangel Raziel. He's like from you know one of the top ten archangels with much, much, much wisdom. Actually, he's one of my personal guides, actually. You know, Archangel Michael's my first, but he aligns with my birth date. So He's come through. So believe in you, my darlings, okay? Do not deny. And, you know, uh, my uh, moon sign is in Virgo, and he aligns with the Virgo. That's one reason why I know he's one of my major archangel Michael, uh, archangels, as Michael and um, Razia. So, you know, be devoted. Be devoted to... Uh, humanitarian causes we just had a beautiful read for the Aries actually about just that you know embracing the global collective and I totally believe we can heal this planet collectively I, I just share it again and I, not to repeat myself in case you know you have all these fire signs in your chart but the point is uh, I, I for the last five years I connect with people that still write to me and we connect even on comments and I've never met you personally but I adore thee I adore you all I, my soul I know touches your soul and you write to me and so your soul touches me back and I know that's how we can heal this planet now with this internet global nobody can deny we can all connect like minded can connect and heal this planet no doubt about it and when we bring in forward the movement of the archangels and we ask for what we want. And then here we have, we, we align with the sun. We look up to the sun star and pray. We look up to Luna and pray. We wish upon those stars, a major thing for months now on my channel. It's beautiful. Call on your angels. That was the main theme for the uh, reading. For August, call on your angels, ask for what you want, and then prepare to listen, whether it's in vision, hearing, heart feeling, or signs, you know, if you see a penny on the floor, that's a sign of your angel. You see a feather drop right in front of you, or an animal, you know, like these birds. I Google these birds, and I just had this beautiful uh, butterfly, which... I even had a video of a butterfly that let me hold it. I, I should drop it soon again, but it's like 
I saw this dark brown butterfly, which I don't see that here a lot. And I Googled it again, you know, but it means, you know, transformation is the main thing, but it's like you keep moving forward. Oh my gods and goddesses. This is the third time this came through for Leo. This same card came through for uh, the um, Aries just half an hour ago. And now for you. Three times. Okay, we're going to have to read it right now. Okay, wait a minute. Three times in a row. Three times in a row. Justice has come through. My Lord. If that's not a sign from the heavens, if that's not a sign from spirit, then I don't know what I'm doing. But I believe I'm doing it. Three times in a row. Justice. Your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't think... I mean, back to back to back. Every fire sign has received this card. I mean, I've had cards come through again, but back to back to back three times, I think this is the first ever. This card signifies that your soul's purpose involves protecting others from unfairness. You would find satisfaction in careers involving meditation. No, excuse me. You would find satisfaction in careers involving med mediation, mediation, law, political science, city planning, security, and so forth. You may even blend spiritual aspects into your career, such as healing work combined with conflict resolution, for example. You have natural leadership and delegation skills, and others look to you for direction and guidance. You honor and respect the responsibility accorded you, and you're highly respected as a result. The angels ask, the angels ask that you continue to trust your heart's guidance as your career evolves and changes. Heaven knows where you are most needed and you will help and will help you with divine assignments that can put your skills to the highest and best use. Oh my God. Look at that, my darling. Three times in a row, back to back. Every single fire sign has received this card in the last two or three hours here that I've been dropping the August clear, uh, alchemy videos for the fire signs. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Look at that. I left lipstick on. <laughs> wow! Well, we're going to have to put her up here. Justice. And I know that I'm going to receive justice when I drop this package. In this environment, this, this community that I lived at really is surrounded by a lot of hate. But you know what? Let me speak about this card right away or in the respect that, you know, a lot of corruption with the governments. Let's not even talk about that queen mother and her devil children, her grandchildren all. Psh. And now we have... Who do we have here going to help us in USA? <laughs> they align with money, Diablo's world. But we collectively, my darlings, we don't have to know each other physically, but we can align with the same mentality, the same thoughts, the same beauty, the same wisdom, and the divine flow will take out the haters. I... Honestly, I've been reading for five years on YouTube come November. I cannot recall when one card that meant so much because you've seen my tears and I brought out that dragon video just to share with you how I live around this 
corrupt town. Again, ruled by Diablo and Mafia. Three times in a row. Books. You connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. How beautiful is that? And I do. And God bless my soul. I've been writing a book, you know, for a long time. Or I've been writing a story for a long time. But it seems like, you know, in these last couple, I've been moving. And then I came into another hateful environment. And it shuts me down. It, you know, that's, it does. Hate shuts people down. You see people being, you know, innocent victims of bombing and being run down and hate crimes every day and it, it does it shuts us down but the book will come the book will come and it's really a, a book of tarot so. all right so let's pick one card for this soul's journey I'm still loving and, and you see see this light this white light bright light right here see that the white light bright light by the heavens and 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 he, holding the Libra scales okay which my rising sign is in Libra as well so I, I I'm not trying to talk about myself but I will most definitely three times in a row if it comes out some more <laughs> Lord help us. It's going to be fabulous. Spirit is with me. This card to come out three times. I know I'm repeating myself, but this has never happened in these five years. And if it did, I, I can't recall it. I, I, I would try to remember something like this. You know, I can remember when things come out adjoiningly. But justice, because I'm writing to many justice, I'm writing to people that I don't know them either. And I keep saying, please, my beautiful, you know, angels align with me so that this package goes out to the righteous people, not more haters and haters and haters. But I'm writing to groups about police misconduct and brutality. I'm writing to the senators, if anybody will listen. Look at that. My darling, how fabulous. And for any of you going through injustice, believe that they are with us. But we have to align. We have to disconnect from discontent. And we have to align with great spirit and his angels. And, and you call on the ones who've passed to the white light. Your ancestors, whoever they may be, that you know you loved in this life path of yours today yesterday and tomorrow they're still with you okay do not forget where we come from we we are soul spirits of light we are in a body right now but we are literally light we are light beings and we need to stick together you know and for those that are not light beings that you know on diablo's path I still believe we can heal them. I mean, I've, I've been talking about that since I came on the YouTube. Because, you know, I, I really was one of those had demonic forces come for me as a little girl. Scratching and doing crazy shit to me. And, you know, obviously, I've got a lot of humans here doing the same crap to me. But I believe when you believe in the higher purpose, when you believe in spirit and you know who you are, you know, a being of the white light, bright light. And, and even if they take me out, even if they were to gun me down, I'm going to go to spirit just like that. Just like that. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. There you go. There you go. That's how it. That's how it is. That's how we do it. Oh yes, we do. Where's the little booklet now? Oh my lord. Hold on a second, my friends. 
Oh, I want to read from the little book. Where's the little book? Well, I must have moved it to read something else. Oh, here it is. Okay, hold on a second. You can see I got caught all up on this justice card. I'm like, holy smolies. <laughs> but let's trust. Trust. How fabulous. Trust. This card, justice three times in a row. I have to trust that there's a higher source that is speaking in this video. Because I didn't, you know, I'm not talking about justice three times in a row. This card was pulled three times in a row for a reason. For reasons and lessons. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. The earth can be a tricky place, but you have been given a tool to help you navigate through the murky waters. Your intuition. You must learn to tell the difference between ego talk and soul talk, and then trust your soul. Once you get into the habit of following your intuition, you will come to practice that discernment externally. You will come to practice that discernment externally. You will be able to know if a person or situation is trustworthy. There, there you go. I mean, honestly, I don't trust anybody near me here. But, you know, soul-to-soul -soul connection via those of you who we speak to via the YouTube I've never met you personally, but I trust you know my soul, and I, my soul trusts you. It all begins with listening to your inner voice. Exercise is like a muscle, and when you determine that it is always right, that wisdom will spread out and influence everything that you do, decisions will seem easier. Your soul only wants what is best for you, and you must learn to trust it. There you go. How beautiful. 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 And you know what? Because this books card came through for any of you who also have innately been working on a, you know, a book or, or are working on some kind of dedicated scenario that still hasn't materialized, but you've tried to manifest it and you're trusting your inner gut to know it's real. Let's read about this. You connect to your life purpose through it, your involvement with books. Your love of books drew this card to you. You're able to find something interesting between the covers of most works, and your literature interests are wide and varied. So it's not surprising that your life purpose is centered about the written word. For example, you do well working at a bookstore, library, publishing house, or magazine, or in the media. You may also be drawn to write a book, which the angels will help you with. I believe that. You can find answers and direction for your current career path by intuitively, there we go, work with your intuition, my darlings, by intuitively selecting books that call to you. Even if the topics seem initially unrelated to your past career, trust that there's valuable information within the pages. You're being led along the path of your divine life purpose, one page at a time. How beautiful. And we do, you know. I am uh, will be approaching my 60. I'm 56 right now, so I, but, you know, four years ago, I just, you know, I was starting YouTube. How fast is it all gone? In November will be five years. And I don't want, you know, I don't have 60 years left in me. Whoopsie. Hold on. Get that up. This has been magnificent. Three times in a row. I know I repeat myself, but that's crazy good. So, no doubt about it, Spirit's talking to me right now saying, you know what? No, you don't have 60 left, but you know what? You can make the next six years better for this global community that we call Earth, beautiful planet. 
And perhaps some of you can join the ride to help heal this planet from the negative ones, the phantom forces. I'll never forget in 2012 when they were showing off. We're here in Legion. You know, we call ourselves Legion. And look what's happening now. They're just bombing and killing everybody. So, please, my darlings, let's align with Great Spirit. And, and you know, Great Spirit intervenes when it has to. But, you know, chaos is cleansing. Hurricanes, volcano, they, they just wipe everything out but we don't want to bring that upon us either we want healing we need healing but we need to ground with mother earth and please I beg of you all you need to take half an hour a day no chatter technology turned off and go within and ask for what you want from the angels and listen have a piece of paper, write it down. What they tell you, okay? What they tell you. Much love to all of you. I love you. I love you so much. I really do. You're my babies. You're my children. And thank you all for subscribing, my noon loves. Ciao.